So, we just bought a four-headed rainbow cactus from Facebook Marketplace for $90. This woman was selling a two-headed rainbow cactus for $30 and I jumped on it, but it was already sold because it's a two-headed rainbow cactus for $30. And that was about a day ago. But then she sent me this via Messenger um, and said that she was selling this for $90. And I was like, yeah, I'll get it. We've just sent her money and um, we're gonna pick it up tomorrow. me in this takeaway container which is you know I mean whatever it's like how cool is that look at it it's like I can't stop looking at it I cannot stop looking at it cannot wait to put this up I've got a film screening to go to tonight so this is gonna have to wait until tomorrow or whenever I mean whatever it's a cactus it can it can sit out of soil for ages so anyway I'm gonna go to this film screening now and take this treasure home oh my god my mind is blown. Holy moly. Hey everyone, it's been over a month since I got this rainbow cactus. I can finally put it in an arrangement. I temporarily put it in this terracotta pot because I knew it was going to be ages before I could plant it where I want to. The reason why it's taken so long is because we knew we wanted to put it in this Talavera pot along with this Matillo Monstros and we decided to make some amendments to this pot as well. You can see here that this pot has legs and the legs are actually hollow like they're the bottom of the pot and we were worried about water pooling up inside of these legs especially because we knew we were gonna have a very wet summer and we're expecting a lot of rain. So what we did is we filled these legs with a pebble and we also put in a sealant specifically used for aquariums. So so we knew that if this product was designed to be safe for aquatic life, it was going to be safe for plants as well. Anyway, when you apply the sealant, you need to wait at least a week for it to dry and then you need to wash it, leave it for a bit and then wash it again. So there was a timeline of fixing it up in bits and pieces. And on top of that, we also just got busy with other stuff. Yesterday, Tim and I finally got round to potting this Matillo Monstros up and I'm going to finish it up by planting the rainbow cactus in here along with a couple of other things. I also went down to the river this morning to find... A rock. I came back with like six. Something that I could put in this arrangement that wasn't going to make it too heavy because we already did fill up half of this pot with pool noodles so we didn't have to labor it with soil. I'm thinking I don't want to overflow this with succulents because the Talavera pot itself is quite busy. I'm thinking a semi-specimen pot with about two or three other cactus plants and then rock dressing. Tim got this Matillo Monstros from Marketplace. He would have gotten it for a lot cheaper than what it would normally go for. We're always on the hunt for good deals because we are ordinary people with very ordinary wages. Where are my gloves? Okay, so we're gonna go with this Echinoceras ridigimus. I'm probably saying that wrong. Rigidissimus. So we're gonna go with this Echinoceras ridigissimus and this Astrophytum ornatum. A little double double there. So that's gonna be the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna show that to you. Yeah. Probably a good idea just to dig a little hole. I'm thinking that the Echinoceras rigidissimus can go here. I'm just gonna call it rainbow cactus, okay? I'm thinking that I put the rainbow cactus here and the astrophytum clump here, and then we place like a rock here and make it all nice with top dressing. What do you think? Gloves on. You know what? This soil is pretty new, so I am going to reuse it. Oh my god! Rainbow cactus are endemic to the States and Mexico, so I imagine that they're a hell of a lot cheaper there than they are here. If you're in the States, I'm curious to know how much something like this would cost over there. Let me know what you think. I mean, I was thrilled to get this for 90 Australian. That's cheap for us. Something like this would easily sell for $200, $250. Roots are looking good. Hmm. Something 
something like this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna just, yeah, that can go there. Think. All right, drafting, drafting, drafting. This is just a, this is this is just a draft, okay? I actually really hate using gloves because I just I can't feel stuff properly. If someone can make a glove that doesn't feel like a glove, that'd be amazing. I'm gonna take this out. Astrophytum ornatum. Ow, this is gonna hurt. This is very sandy. It's very sandy. Now. How did I want this to go? Like there or big one that way? Ow! Not the way that I want it at all. This looked way different in my head. No, gosh, I don't know. Do we move the whole thing over here? Like, is that too much? I swear I didn't want to put a rock in this big, but it looks good. Okay, I guess we're doing this. I think that looks cute. Yeah, maybe that's all it needs. This can like come up and be elevated just a little bit. You know what? Ugh, get rid of those gloves. Get those roots down in there. I feel like this needs to tilt, yeah, a little bit more that way and then move back like a centimeter. Yes. Why does that make all the difference? I need, damn, I need, a, I feel like I need a small rock. This might be too big, but, oh, come the fudge on. Does that look good? I think it looks good. I can't tell on screen if that looks good yet, but ow, totally just forgot that I can't grab it like that. All right. I might replace that rock later, but, um, let's go on there for now. Press it in, press it in, press it in. Um, I don't think it actually looks that great from your angle, but from here, I think it looks pretty specky, as in spectacular. Oh, you guys, I think this looks good. I say this about every pot that I make, but I do think this looks good. I love this rock here. Like, how good is that? And you know what, if I hate it, if I end up not liking this in like a week, I'll just change it. It's the beauty of these plants. It's like building with Lego. Time for some top dressing. Literally just a makeup brush from Priceline. Actually one step lower, I think it was from Kmart. I think the thing that used to worry me about top dressing is that it's so final, but I know, I know that you can move things around. You know, you just need to take the top dressing off, but that, that seems time consuming. That seems like a whole bunch of time that I just don't have. <sighs> this does look good though. Get it in there. like it needs a little bit more soil. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Yeah. Why is there hair in there? Get out.
think I am like a bonsai artist now? Look at this. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! I'm done. You want to have a look? Purposefully put Morocco in the background there. This picture of Morocco. You know what? Let's start with Morocco. Let's start with Morocco. I love it. All right, friends, that's it. Finally, we got the rainbow cactus potted up. If you enjoy content like this, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all the videos that come up. Have a really lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.